Now, I'm Anthony Pence. I was born in Cape Town, South Africa. Lived there pretty much most of my life. And in 1976, I met, met Michelle McCabe, who was a Rotary Exchange student from America, come to South Africa. And then it took me a little over a, v, a year to get a visa to come and visit her here, where we ended up getting married. Unfortunately, Michelle passed away in 2003. Used to call her Shelley or Newbie. She was a really nice person, a wonderful, wonderful person. Even though she made me go to church on a regular basis, there was still a wonderful love between the two of us. And as we were going to church together, we grew closer together. And she taught me a lot of things about Catholicism that I just never knew about. My son Matthew and I had been out for dinner and we were busy driving home from dinner. And we were just chatting and I told him that I felt that I needed a closeness to the church. And his answer to me was, hey dad, you want to go to church with me tomorrow? I'll take you. It was funny because I said to him, so it's not the Catholic church, is it? <laughs> he said, no, I said, he said, I said to him, well, which church is it? It's that big one they built on the side of the town. And I remember that was Calvary. So I said to him, so that's Calvary Church? He says, yeah. He says, I've been there a few times. I said, well, that's a bonus. I said, because I want to go to a church where they've got the right attitude. They welcome their people there, that they're friendly and kind of lovable, you know, and that we know we're going to be able to sing from now on, now and then, you know. And it, he said, yeah. He says, trust me, this is a good place to be. And that was it, Calvary Church we were at. In 2012, I uh, had heart surgery and uh, took about a year to recover from that. Just as I was recovering from that, I noticed I had a problem in my head. It turned out to be a brain tumor. Recently, I went, I went to the cancer doctor. And we got into a discussion of what our options are, and one of my main options is hospice. So I've now gone into hospice uh, totally, 100%, which means that I now lo no longer have cancer drugs to take care of my cancer and that I now need to look at accepting the process of death. It's an extremely hard thing to look at. I've been going to church on and off for a long time and a lot of my going to church was determined by the fact that I had a wife that was very insistent that going to church was, was very important in her life. It became important in my life sometimes, and then sometimes it wasn't. And as we would go through difficult times, which we've had enough of, um, I would lose the faith a little. And losing the faith doesn't mean that you're done, no. It just means that you're on a stopover somewhere where you need to get past so that you can continue. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you keep growing. And what I've done is I've tried extremely hard to keep growing in the love of Jesus and to be part of his life and to know that he is there to take care of me. And I truly believe that's what he's doing. He's taking care of the bumps and the bruises that I'm going through at the moment, yes, I, I, I would encourage everybody to keep their faith and to hold their faith and to be strong in their faith and to keep their love for Jesus and for everything that He's teaching you and for everything that He's guiding you to do and to see. This is Anthony live and in person. Quite a testimony, huh? I'm so proud of Anthony and I'm, I'm proud of Dale too that's gonna to make a commitment here right after him. So Anthony, I wanna ask you a question. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. Brother, because of the profession you're making in these waters, I wanna baptize you, my brother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Grab my hand. Buried in baptism. Plug your nose. Raised to walk. 
<laughs> you good? <laughs> Amen. You're better than good. You're better than you ever been, right? I'm good. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 All right, Hallelujah. brother.